Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Not none. You know my dad walk on. Man, hold up, man. Hey, man. Say, man. Look out, man. Hey, man. We in the city. Mm-hmm. We've been to Chicago, in Louisiana. Now we back in Texas. Yes, sir. I'm, my boy, I'm working, you ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> check it, man. Hey, man, y'all. Hey, on another note, we got a very special guest in here today, man. This guy right here. Hey, I've been seeing him on the internet lately. He really don't need no introduction if you be on Instagram and if you be on uh, YouTube and if you watching Crisco and all these other people that's out here. You know what I mean? Uh, man, that boy Cornelius Beats is in the building. What's going down? Welcome man. to Boss Talk 101, man. where the bosses talk. 100 man boss, man boss shit only I can, I can curse right <laughs> man hey man hey man we got we on YouTube man so yeah. and we on Apple and Spotify, Spotify yeah. Stitcher Google, uh, Google you name it wherever you, you can find this streaming man. platform podcast what a up. blessing right yes sir man so man you know it's just um, you know the way we like to get into it we like to go back in your background that's cool let's talk about it yeah, like, so you're from I'm from Dallas, Oak Cliff. Really? You yeah. from Oak Cliff? We have a yeah. lot of people here. Born and raised, Everybody yeah. from Oak, Oak Cliff. Cliff. What's yeah. up with Oak Cliff? What's so great about Oak Cliff? I mean, you know, I I wouldn't really run in the streets, so I don't really know what's great in the streets. But okay. you know, the culture of Oak Cliff is like it's dope. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? The background that I come from, uh, basically, poverty. What you know part what of Oak Cliff? Because uh, Oak Cliff ain't that small now. It's not, but I come from like Woodtown. If you're from Oak Cliff, you know what Woodtown okay. is. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I come from like the, the, the man, messed up parts of Oak Cliff. And Woodtown is one of them parts, like, you know. So you were raised in poverty? Yeah. Okay, yeah. when you say poverty, how, like, how, how much poverty were you raised in? Like, we didn't have nothing. Like, literally, we trying to, you Don't know. Don't say nothing. Because when, when people I, when say I, nothing, I think about, like, Africa, and I think about some places where, right, so like, I tell my kids all the time. My wife, talk Jamaican, about, man. No, my kid, you country. know how kids nowadays be like, Mommy, there ain't no food in the house. I said, go cook. Go eat this. It's because they say it's nothing that they want to eat in the yeah. house, but there is stuff in the house. But you I'm don't understand I'm, what I mean? I'm talking about when I said Mommy want no food in the house, I'll go open up a can of green beans. That's right. all we got. At least you had something, though. Yeah. Go eat uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches that And we ain't good. got no bread Go eat the <laughs> peanut butter by itself Go mix up the syrup and the peanut butter mm -hmm. Where it tastes like Snickers oh, okay. That's what I'm talking about You know Okay Like I come home from school And our, our lights is cut off You know We wow. ain't have a lot going You know what I'm saying So mm -hmm. that's that's what I say You know Were you an only child? Nah I am um, I have two sisters Yeah Sisters Only and a brother boy. Yeah. Oh, no, and, a, and a brother I have a brother on my dad's side Yeah, your dad's sisters, side yeah. Are you the oldest? I'm the middle yeah. So your brother on your dad's side wasn't living with you? Nah, he wasn't. So the uh, only ones that were living with you is your sisters? Yeah, yeah. So you were really the man of the house? Kind of, yeah. And basically. your dad wasn't living with you, so you weren't nah, raised with my, your father? My dad was in prison. Yeah. In prison yeah. from... <laughs> from what age? Yeah. <laughs> from what age? From... Oh, you said my dad? From, yes, from, how uh, old were I you? Meet, I, I didn't meet my dad till I was 14. So... Ever since your mom had you, he was in prison from that like, time. I, I seen him. I seen him a couple times, but I ain't really just. We ain't really just bond until I was like 14, 14. 15. Yeah. So like, I seen him as a child. I can kind of remember like, him coming in and out, but I really don't remember anything from my pops from, okay. back then. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you know, because he did thirteen years in prison. Do you know what for? Uh, drugs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So um. You, how, yeah, your dad. Yeah, the nineties was a was a drug, a drug era, era where yeah. everybody was some of them was falsely accused too. We gotta say that. Yeah, everybody yeah. I mean when shout out to uh what's that boy named down there downtown that was letting him out. Boy, that boy, he did a good job, that DA mm -hmm. down there. I can't yeah. uh, Craig Watkins, man. Yeah, Craig, I, I remember that name. Craig, Craig Watkins, Watkins was yeah. letting people yeah. out, man, when he got in yeah. there as the DA and he started uh -huh. helping a lot of the black people that was falsely accused to yeah. come out of prison. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's books. I got the book at the house where yeah. these guys were stand-up guys. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think a lot of times the false narrative is created on a lot of our people. You know exactly. what I mean? Exactly. Uh, and so, you know, at the end of the day, uh, it's a tough thing when you go to prison for a thing that, that you really... You really ain't do. You really right. ain't do nothing. They had mm -hmm. white chalk. 
the, mm-hmm. the, in the in the in the uh, in, the, in the, the room where you keep all the evidence room. They had white chalk they had put in there, and it wasn't even drugs. It was just white chalk that where they trumped up charges on different black uh, uh, and Hispanics people that looked the part, so that mm-hmm. the DA could pretty much build up his. Uh, uh, portfolio or profile on being because he's trying to make it to be a judge right i'm being real this is stuff yeah i know i know yeah many of them face charges and have been locked up we talked to mac just a few weeks ago down in new orleans and mac did 21 years in in prison for for a crime that he didn't commit so i got a i got a cousin that's in prison right to this day's name isaac he's doing life in prison without the possibility of parole for a crime he did not do wow so this is this is something that definitely is something that I, I hope at some point, you know, we can maybe God, somebody God will open come open doors yeah. for right. people yeah. like that, man. Because yeah. it's yeah. just a tough thing to have to live out your life like that. Yeah, you know. But you being from Oak Cliff, you did, where'd you graduate school? Carter did you, High School. You graduated yeah. Carter. Yeah. So, so I, I went to Carter High School, then I went to Dallas Can. It was like kind of like a, they say I know my can. Yeah, I went there. So I. I so I, you were a trouble kid. No, I just I didn't learn like like everybody else, you okay. know. So and then not like I don't know, like um uh growing up in school, like my I don't know, I was I, I was in trouble, but I was like a class clown, you know. Mm-hmm. They I didn't label with label you with yeah. like ADHD and all of that sort of stuff. Well, not not ADHD probably, but but I I, I wouldn't say I had a learning disorder, mm-hmm. but I didn't learn like the other kids, you okay. know. Yeah, so like I I was I had a lot a lot going on in my household that kept me from, you know, being focused. So, Did your mom ever move on and have like another male figure for you? Yeah, so like the the guy that she had for me, like he was abusive, you know. Towards so, her, or towards you. Towards her. Towards yeah, her. Yeah. So all I seen like like in my, in my household was like them fighting, arguing, police being called, stuff like that. Just nothing. It was nothing that was ever, ever like positive in my household. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So. He never turned against you though. Nah. Okay. Uh-uh, uh-uh. How old were you when um how? How long were they together? Did man, they, they was together all the way up until I was like, that's so so damn. Since I was a baby, because mm-hmm. my remember my right, dad, your dad was, in, was gone. So I'm actually named after the other guy. I'm okay. not named after my my real dad. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So they was all he, they was together all the way up until probably like 13. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I had my whole childhood like he was around. So you saw that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, did you ever carry that over into your relationships? You know, we are a product of our environment and a product mm-hmm. of what we see. Right. And sometimes we don't know any better. Right. And a lot of times people grow up and be like, I'm not going to be like my dad or I'm not going to be right. like my mom or whatever, but right. sometimes end up being right just like that. Right. I never carried none of the things that I've been through. Well, I've tried. Like, I'm not, right. I'm not, I'm not perfect. Right? Exactly. But I've never, I've never had none of the, the traits that, of growing up of what I've seen. I've always tried to like be different, you know, in, in every situation that ever came in my life, you know? Mm-hmm. So I never, I never was like, oh, let me be abusive or let me go sell drugs or let me go do this. No, I was a kid that, all right, so if I ain't got no money, let me go get this lawnmower and go around the neighborhood and cut all of these grass. I was, I was known for the young entrepreneurs. I used to sell watermelons with a guy in my neighborhood by the name of Mr. Bradford, you know? So like I was always a kid. Trying to be a hustler, trying right? to make I was somebody. always hustling. I was never... Right just trying to go rob somebody, sell drugs, you know, pimp on females, none of that. Mm-hmm. I was always hustling in my bag, you know. But, you know, you got to think about in, in today's society, people take some words really serious. That's why the yeah. Internet is the way how it is. But and it's bad, but we always have to explain what we mean about right. what we say just to make things, you know, clarify things. Right, right. And I think, you know, when you talk about abuse, um, you say you've never abused anyone or did anything. But. Abuse is not always physical. It's right. also Ver- um, verbal. verbal. Yeah, right. And I think that everybody has abuse verbally one right. way or the other. Of course. You understand course. what I mean? Yeah, so when course. you say that you've never, right. I always tell everybody, don't ever say never. Got you. Because, you know, people can always use that against you. Right, Our old right. girlfriend be like, well, he did this and he said that, you yeah, know, whatever. Yeah, fact, fact, fact. He said I was nothing and yeah. da, 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 da. Yeah. So always, you know, be careful of what you say and how you say it. And I always explain, you know, it's bad that you have to explain yourself, but you really do, yeah, especially you do. once you're yeah. talking through these mics exactly. or in music or whatever. Right. You have to be very specific about what you mean, and you know. Right. Yeah. What, let me fast forward a little bit to 
All Star Magazine. Mm-hmm. Explain it to me what that is. And when did it get started? Man, I got st- All Star Magazine is a cultural magazine. I try and well not try. I focus on hip hop news, uh, the upcoming of uh, people in hip hop. Um, basically, you know, from the locals to the majors. You know, um, I, I focus on. Um, I don't know if y'all did y'all research. I do a lot of videography behind mm-hmm. All Star Magazine. You know. Uh, I've been in the music industry for a very, very long time. But when did All Star Magazine so start? So I started back in 2012. Yeah. And was it started just by you? Yeah, just me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. One was day. it started before Say Cheese TV? Uh, Say, Say Cheese was started before me, and I came on afterwards. A was it, afterwards. it? Did he influence you any? As far as uh, you know, like because when I look back, that's one of the guys that I give big shout outs to on this right, show right, because right, to right. do something right. in a lane where it's not being done right. and to maintain it to this point right, right now yeah. is a great accomplishment. Mm-hmm. Right, right, So right. I always, you know, you, we have to give our roses while people are here right. to do so, something on that level right. and to make right. it a success today mm-hmm. is a hell of an accomplishment. You yeah. you got to you got to right, say right, it, right. You know? So Sean Cotton, um, I took a lot of, I, I'm not, I'm not going to say I took no ideas from him, but he was already doing what he was doing okay. before me, so it gave me a it gave me a, an outline of what I could do, yeah. but just change it on a different level. Yeah. So I ain't taking that away from him, you know. But I respect exactly what what he's doing, you know. That's a long time yeah. ago, any way you look yeah. at it. Yeah, like it's I a say, long that's time. A, yeah. I know we were here during that time, but we were more focused on apparel clothing. Mm-hmm. and yeah, clothing. Yeah, but yeah. and we were definitely dealing with a lot of entertainers. Right, right. We were more focused on uh, being a uh, uh, giving the people something they could walk into and right. shop right. and and have an experience with people that look like them. Exactly. And so that's that's a different world. But just for us to have an understanding in 2012. Mm-hmm the importance of visuals, the importance of music and entertainment and, and taking it serious at a right. time where it ain't no, no blueprint or many to follow. Yeah, it wasn't. It's a dope accomplishment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you like, should be proud of yourself. Yeah, so like before before I started All Star, I was a music producer and a singer. Uh, I was always just trying to, you know, p- push How myself. How old were you a, when you started doing that? Uh, like 50. 14, 15. Yes. Music producer and yeah, singer. Yeah, and my, Who and taught I, you to produce music? So my, my dad is like into the music, but he was like... When, when he said he, dad, you got to clarify which real father. Dad. So he came back into his <laughs> life at 14. Yeah, at 14. Yeah, yeah. So, so like then 15, he, y'all yeah, he, became close. Yeah, he would take me to the studio with him. He Like his friend had a studio. But I was like, even before he got out, I was still into music. I had my my mother's bedroom. I turned her entire bedroom to my recording. So is he studio. still alive and around? My dad, yeah, 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 he's still around. Yeah, yeah. So how are you guys' relationship? We're good, man. Okay, yeah, no. yeah. So like, we, we have a really good relationship. That's now. good. Yeah. So my mom, um, before my mom passed away, I'm gonna get into that too. Man. Yeah. So um. R. I. P. Yeah. R. I. P. We. She let me turn her entire bedroom into a recording studio. Like I had everything, you know what I'm saying? Putting pieces together. And during that time, I was always trying to figure out a way to get myself ahead as an artist. So I said, dang, if nobody want to listen to me and my music, let me create a platform to get everybody else involved with what I'm doing. And that's why I came up with All Star Magazine. During around that time, I was probably 18, you know? I was so broke, I was working a security job. And I quit my security job to start my company and like, I made a lot of money that first that first couple months, you know. So like, I, I was really I was really basically just coming from this to this in a short period of time. If I'm making sense to you, no children. I have four kids. Yeah. At that man. time, did you no, have any kids? No, I didn't have no kids. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No That's kids, dope. Yeah. Four kids, man. Yeah. Big yeah. accomplishment. Yeah. Uh, fatherhood is serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and family is real. Um, real talk. I gotta gotta get into the uh, to to the little sauce. Uh, I I I seen you with rainwater. Mm-hmm. I seen you. Uh, you have a relationship. You had a relationship with Mo Three, right? Um, you guys uh, evidently have crossed paths in the past, right? Right. In the past, and and so um, Rain uh, and you worked together with Mo Three. Did you do beats or something for so Mo Three? I was doing. Um, I did like one beat for Mo Three, and that's the song that I did with him and Charlie Boy. Uh, it's called uh, uh, His and Hers. Yeah. That's my record. But, uh, That's dope. Yeah, appreciate it. How was it working with Mo3? Man, Mo3 Mo was a good individual. Um, he's not a bad person, you know? A lot of people might try to say he's a bad person. I never got a, any negative characters from him other than, you know, 
People he was like talented him. as hell. Very talented, man. But I think uh, he didn't peak uh, uh, while he was living. Right. But right. he definitely was talented. Um, we come to understand now that he probably was more talented than most of the people in a the lot Dallas of people. area. Exactly. But uh, at the end of the day, not all, but most. Because you got yeah. different patriarchs here from yeah. Erica Badu. You got right, different right. people here like DOC. Mm -hmm. You got some big shoes to fill. And, and he didn't get to get to his scale of where he was going to go right. as a, a artist. But when I listened to his music after he had passed, it was right. so impactful because you pay more attention. People try to play like they don't, but Martin Luther King, when people when he passed away, the articles and books that he wrote spoke volumes to people after his death. Right. Uh, uh, you and, and I'm pretty sure... Uh, uh, you know, uh, Coretta would attest to that because monuments went up after he passed right, away. Right, 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 right. Uh, that's what happened with people. When people die, the music becomes more impactful, even right. Tupac. Right. When you start to see the stuff that, boom, you know, uh, uh, it, it becomes real. The things that he spoke on was real. Like the outside song, when he say, uh, Jesus, please, can you feel my needs? You know you feel that more mm -hmm. because he's passed away mm -hmm. and because it almost seems as if he's crying out for God. Right. And so this is the things that you have to understand that, that Mo3, when I listen to Mop With It and all these different songs after he passed away, mm -hmm. Man, this dude was very valid, very talented, and, and, and I hate he was taken away so soon. Right. You know what I mean? Right. And so for you to work with him mm -hmm. at any rate right. was a blessing. Was it, a, was. it was a it blessing, was, It yeah. was something to be, be yeah. really proud of. Yeah, yeah. I learned a lot from that whole entire situation. Uh, and then, like, me just being young, trying to get into the industry, and then actually finally getting into the industry and being one of the people that's shooting videos for one of the hottest artists in Dallas at that time. I learned a lot, you know what I'm saying? And and, and like with, with Mo3, it's like, I ain't really got nothing bad to say about him. You know what I'm saying? Like, dude really put his blood, sweat, and tears in his work. Did and you then, know Rainwater before you know Mo3? Yeah. How long have you known Rainwater? I've been knowing, I've been knowing Rainwater since I was like 18. How did y'all meet? Uh, I used to manage his group. Uh, um, it was big, uh, his, their, their name was big, um, Dang, so long ago. Seaboard and uh, smooth, big smooth. And then okay. they, had, they had a song called "Ride My Face." Huh? He was promote. He was promoting yeah. everybody. Yeah, he? he was promoting everybody. Yeah, we heard Tyler. those stories. So like, Rain would call. Did you go to Alaska? No, 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 no. So like, yeah, yeah. Rain, Rain would call my phone because I was their manager at the time. Was it Hawaii? Or it was Hawaii. Hawaii. No, no, Hawaii. No. It wasn't Alaska. Yeah. It was Hawaii. Mm -hmm. yes. He took a lot of people to Hawaii. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. They had a big thing about a big that. show. But yeah. keep going. So Rain, Rain would call my phone to book book us for shows because mm -hmm. I, I was managing at a young age. I, mm -hmm. I've been doing this for a long time. He would call my phone to book us for shows, and you know, they he was always a janky promoter. You know what I'm saying? So like he would call me, try to get over on us and stuff like that. So we've been knowing each other since back then. When that. you say janky promoter, a lot of people always say that, but um, it, you can only talk from your experience. Right. In your experience, why would you call him janky? What did he do to you back then? Why you would call him janky? Because you know everybody say different things. Right. No, I mean, well, it's it's been so long ago since you know. You I, don't remember. Yeah, I don't really remember. But I, what I do remember is he would book us. And we would get there and everything would be so unorganized, you know, yeah. or he would give us a price and it wouldn't be that price when we get there to the show. That makes sense. Yeah. So it was like a lot of stuff that was like, it wasn't inconsistent. Yeah, it was but inconsistent. Could it be because y'all all was so young? It to, it you know been. what I mean? Because when yeah. you think about it, a manager back then, you you merited a certain amount. I don't yeah. know if you knew that amount back then, whether it was 20% or whatever you and the artist yeah, agreed yeah, upon. Yeah. And then a promoter as well. Be understanding what that promoter would make, cause I've ta I talked to Mister Hit that about mm -hmm. this. I think more y'all was young, yeah, and trying to figure it out, yeah. And now y'all cold with it, cause y'all know the business better than everybody. But I, I, I mean, I I could say that now, but when you still on the same type of stuff, it's kind of like, uh, that's your character. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, I, so, I, I, I get where yeah, you're coming from. You feel me, so. But yeah. when you think about Rain, I, I I seen the other day. I got to get into it where I seen you. Uh, when I start researching you, yeah. that's what I do. I yeah. research you. You went on a rant, and yeah. you was on there, and you was talking about, I guess, you was representing Ghanamese at the time, yeah, it looked yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. And it seems as if you was just kind of, you was telling Rain that, you know, you were saying, you know, he he need to give people their credit, whether right. it be Half Pint. You mentioned Half Pint. You mm -hmm. mentioned, uh, who's the other one? It was uh, Shine on the Beat, Shine on Quint the beat Beach, and yeah. Quint Beat. Yeah, yeah. But you didn't mention my guy. 
Who's that? Prophecy Films, because that's the guy. So that Pro- Prophecy I've, I've interviewed Prophecy yeah. here. I was like, wow, I guess he didn't he what didn't deal with him during that era. Exactly, exactly. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. What I was, thinking. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah, like, because yeah. so, you know that Prophecy did yeah. most of the ending work for Mo Three. Yeah. You so know? like, so so oh, excuse me, uh, Prophecy. I introduced. Uh, it's a guy by the name of KV Films. He worked with. I, Prophecy, I heard of him. Prophecy now. Mm-hmm. So I was the first person that me and Hat Pen was kind of like the first people that was really shooting videos for Mo Three. Uh, I don't know if y'all ever seen uh, what was that video that he helped me with. He helped me with uh, used to be broke, and he helped. Pro- I'm not. I'm not talking about property. I'm talking. I'm talking about KV. Yeah, KV. KV helped me with used to be broke, and then he helped me with uh, another video. Um, what she said, you know. He helped me shoot those videos from that. From that point, then that that brought in prophecy because he was a part of prophecy. Them, you know what I'm saying? So it, I kind of linked that up between them. But prophecy, nothing. I know prophecy. Nothing to take from prophecy. Yeah, he dope. Uh, I'm the only one that ever interviewed him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He never went yeah. to nobody else. Dope. Yeah, he dope. Nothing to take away from him though. But yeah, I, the reason why I didn't mention him is because he came later. You okay, know what I'm I yeah, figured it was yeah, something like yeah. that. I kind of figured that. But yeah. when you with going on the rant about rainwater, yeah. what caused you to even do that? Because it was. It seems as if the Gunnam Easy thing was something that. And but I didn't really just right. give me an understanding. Of why so would you even reason, go? Because you guys trip me out when y'all go on a rant. I don't. Yeah. I've never been on a rant. Got you. You know. What so I'm saying? so I I'm I'm really passionate about what I believe in. You know, and when I see a person try to discredit people, you know, constantly discredit people. Like I be I like some of these artists in Dallas. I know they work they they but I can curse right. Yeah. They work their ass off. You know what I'm saying? And I know me how hard I work. And when he get on the social media and he try to discredit people, he try to talk about people, slander people, and then he always trying to implement Mo3, it's kind of like, bro, like, if, you, if you're if in a position to change the narrative, change the narrative and actually do something that's positive within our community. Because if y'all really think about it, every time you hear about some beef stuff, who's involved with it? Rainwater. You know what I'm saying? Well, so that's, that's, I ain't gonna say Mo Three was a saint. They, they no, all I'm had not, they. Yeah, but I mean, because you could, you. I mean, Mo Three would get in that kitchen, of, or you know what of, I mean. He would do his thing, man. A lot of this beef stems from rainwater running his mouth, and a lot of people don't know that. Well, okay, so um, I got, you I say that, say but too. hold on, out of, because one thing I always ask everybody, I'm like, okay, when you make, when you say certain things, that's a rumor that's been going around, but mm-hmm. nobody has really just said, okay. Um, proof okay this is the person that he said this to and then this went this is how this started and stuff like that yeah it's just really hearsay and hearsay can't do anything but yeah. just you know so with you saying that he started that where's the proof of that what you mean the started what like See, what any of the stuff like, that he started if he started a lot of different things so it's, she's saying give us some concrete to say some concrete to right. show he that this he did, and did, that did caused this sense. and that's why right. this happened so basically so basically um even with even with him between him and yellow beezy you mm-hmm. know what i'm saying brainwater if, if y'all if y'all was paying for if y'all was paying attention to what really happened yellow beezy was mad at who rainwater he was never really mad at three like that. You know what I'm saying? Him and three never had a, 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 a altercation. It was always through Rainwater. That's why they had so much beef with Rain because Rain would sit back on social media and try to taunt taunt people. You know what I'm saying? Hate just just dry hate. You know what I'm saying? Like the reason why I say dry hate is because I get it, man. You know, you you know you you working with the hot artists and you got these other artists and stuff like that. You know making a name for themselves and you don't have no control, you feel like the shine has been taken off of you. You know what I'm saying? So when he would just just taunt people, you know what I'm saying? And and that's that's what I mean by hating. You feel me? If that makes sense to y'all. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, but when you when you when you talk about rainwater and the legacy of Mo three, yeah. And you and all the involved parties, everybody had a piece to deal with all of this right, stuff. Right, right. So when you look at Rain, I think he's a cut from a different cloth because the same way you talking and saying he did this and he did that, you have another guy like a say a DJ. Right. They then came in here and be like, Man, if it were, he worried the hell out of me. He always yeah. trying to get yeah. the records played. No, he always, I, I'm just saying it's I'm just not taking nothing no, from and him. that's what I'm, I'm just, it's a it's a yin right. and a yang thing. Right. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, of course. Is of course. This guy had right. a, a a hell of an impact at the same time but you feel like it was other stuff involved. It was definitely under stuff involved. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel what you're saying. Because it's a whole... So, so let, me, let me make myself clear, right? So I'm not bashing Rain in any kind of way. What I'm saying is is a lot of stuff Rainwater do, and he know what I'm talking about. A lot of things with his character and the, the reason why he do a lot of things makes no sense. You know? So is Rain a hard worker? Yes. 
Does Rain hustle hard as hell? Yes. I've seen Rain work his butt off. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying, oh, if Rain, Rain, Rain. No, I'm not blaming Rain. I'm just blaming him for certain flaws of his character because I've dealt with Rain, you know? And and, and I feel but, like I'm... And nobody's I perfect. Can, you know, but, yeah, what no, did, nobody's but what perfect, did yeah. he do to get under your skin to get you to do that rant? That's what I'm trying to get to because you gave a hell of a rant. Yeah, the reason You why, was like, yeah. I'm going to get this straight today and you got no, on so, there. So this and is listen, why. I'm, I'm telling you right now, I've never done one. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, I'm being right, real, right? right. Yeah. We never got on there and just like, nigga, I'm going to give it to you. You yeah, know what I'm saying? I, I want to hear... What push you to the point to say, I got to say something about this. I'm going to get on here and let these niggas know how I feel about rainwater. I'm yeah, being real. It was like, why are you talking about me? And no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. I, I just want to hear it because it's a reason why. And that's because why. Because my entire time working with rain, he has always discredited me. Okay. So he said something. Always. Did he, always. And it got back to you. Always. It, 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 he said so how did he people. discredit you? What did he say? Oh man, Cornelia shoot free videos for us, man. Or or then and, and I'm gonna tell you this. He tried to bring up a situation where me and Mo three had a verbal argument. And I feel like that's so low of you. Like You're nobody, talking about here recently when yes, you did that rent. Y- yes. Okay. That's like Why would he do that now? What, because what? he he pressed buttons to try to get you to trigger your your emo- to try to I I don't, don't want to say emotions, but he pressed he says certain things to try to trigger you into another conversation, you know? And and, and if, if you if you Y'all but if you're knowing it's I've my interviewed, fault, I've know. interviewed him a lot of times. Well, not a lot, two times, three times. Yeah, I've interviewed him. I, I look at the interviewees. I'm just looking at the character. Yeah. I don't know the, the the way they moving in the streets. I got you. But I'm yeah. just going by. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so I get where you're coming from because you're saying that okay, this guy has things that he does that pretty much he knows like, how so, to so, get to you. Let me say this. So we had a we had a situation where he called me. He was trying to bring my baby mama up and something. I'm just like, bro, what does my baby mama have to do with this situation? Oh yeah, uh, ask your baby mama if uh, if uh, if uh, what he say? What he say? He, he said he said something weird. I'm like, oh okay. So I get your tactic. You know what I'm saying? I get what you're trying to do. You're trying to say things to trigger me into an argument with you. You know? So that's why I was just so heated. And then oh, when, when you seen the rant, I don't really. Know, I, I think I had two rants. But yeah, I yeah, yeah. You were ranting. You yeah. get down out here. You you swinging. <laughs> yeah. So like. I um I basically I basically you know the second rant is he, he always trying to make the situation about him man he tried to control the narrative and I, I don't like that. did it have anything to do with Gunna Beasy Gunna 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 yeah. yeah so like Gunna Beasy did it because I was thinking maybe it got something to do with that because so the first you hear a lot of times that. Mo three sounded like gun. I hear these things. I don't know nobody. I don't yeah. know their business. None of that. Right. But you hear these things, you know. Right. And I was saying maybe he's getting to it about that. It was so the first the first time that I even came publicly because I I, ne- I normally never come publicly just to try to say nothing about nobody unless somebody really getting to me. So when I was managing Gunna Measy before all the BS just happened, right? He said something over the phone, and I recorded this conversation, and I leaked it out to the public. What did he say? He said, "Man, he was he was going back uh, a, a back and forth about uh, Gunna Meezy, and he was he mentioned Mo three, so he was like, let me let, let, let me go because back. I know because when you're back. talking, so, okay, because when you're talking, you're saying stuff." You're not able to give me. I don't know if you don't remember. So let, me, let me go back. Let me go back. Okay. I, I definitely remember. Okay. So, so tell me specifically, like what so he Measy, says and so stuff listen, like that. So listen, Measy had an interview when he first got out of jail okay. on Ratchet TV, right? He had an interview, and I don't know if Ratchet did this or they tried to make the interview about Mo Three, and it was never Measy trying to bash Mo Three. Okay. That wasn't the plan. You feel me? So when Rainwater gets on the thing, taunts Measy, blah blah blah. He calls me after the interview and he says, "Man, you know what, Cornelius?" I'm like, "What?" He like, "Man, Mo three, man, if, when, when Mo three was alive, you know, he he said, man, if Gunna Meezy was 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 out of jail, he said, Yellow Bees and Trap Boy Freddie wouldn't be able to fuck with him." And he said that, and I'm thinking like, okay, bro, well he said this, why didn't you just say this on a live in front of all of these thousands of people? Mm-hmm. Because now you're trying to create a narrative. That Measy's trying to taunt Mo three, and we—that's not what we're doing. It's never with me. It's never been fuck Mo three. It's always been love. You feel me? It's never been a situation to where it's like, all right, well, Measy, we finna plan this, and we're gonna get all Mo three fans. No. How did you, know you meet Measy? What was? How did you even so link with Measy? I link with me. Measy. Well, all right. So I link with Measy through a mutual friend. Uh, my friend Lewis. Okay. He he linked me with Measy. During the time, uh, and I don't know if y'all know the whole story, but like no, during during the time Mo3 and Meezy was beefing, 
Okay. And it was so it was so petty. They was beefing about some whatever. I think it was like a girl or something like that. Whatever. They was beefing. You call um, it petty, but that happens a lot. But that's petty to me. <laughs> but you know it happens a lot. Yeah. It's always about the girl. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. So most of the stuff that happens is always end up being about two between men is about yeah, a woman. Yeah. But right. I get it. I get yeah. what you're saying. It's petty because it's way bigger picture. I guess right. you're saying right. So d- during the time during the time I'm working with Mo Three. I know that three is working with. I mean, he's mad at or him and uh, Mises have a have a altercation, right? I never. Yeah, work you work with, with Mo Three and Rainwater at this time. Exactly. I never. Mises used to call my phone, beg me, bro, what's up, bro? You know, hey man, f with me, man, work with me. You know what I'm saying? I would never do it because as a manager, as a as just, a videographer, just, as, as a as a videographer, okay. as manager and videographer, he he wanted me to show him the way. Because everybody was blackballing him, you know what I'm saying? As he would say, you feel me? Okay. He he basically wanted me to show him the way. So after the time I stopped working with Mo Three and them because I felt like it wasn't really being fair on that end, I started working with Meezy because my boy brought him. He's like, man, what you gonna do, bro? You gonna work with this dude? And I'm like, man, that beef ain't really got nothing to do with me. I'm in the business to make money. I'm not here to say oh, I'm choosing sides. I'm I'm never choosing sides with nobody. You feel me? So I started working with Meezy. So. That's 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 how I started working with him. You feel me? And then from there, it just went. You know, but they well, was Mo three. Like Mo three wasn't. Mo three was alive when yeah. you first started. With, yeah. So me, this was before he went to prison. Yeah, yeah. This is before Meezy went to wow. prison. Yeah, so, that's crazy. So yeah. you worked with Meezy before he went to prison, and when he came home, you you started back exactly. working with him. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. And so that yeah. makes sense. So y'all kept communicating exactly. Yeah. While he was while he was in prison, sent him money, make sure he was. How long was he gone for? Four years. Four years. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's yeah. a long time, man, to hold somebody down, man. Exactly. And then for it to come to a screeching halt mm-hmm. like it did. And 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 you don't have to go into too much detail, but just give me an understanding of how he told you, Hey man, we done it's over. I can't rock with you no more. He, he didn't. <laughs> oh he he didn't tell he you? Didn't. He didn't. He did he we, say it on the internet or he went on. He went online, and I'm gonna go through my phone, right? So, um, we had a meeting uh, recently. This is maybe a couple weeks ago. We had a meeting before all of this BS came out. We had a meeting, and it was about management, right? And I've been. And at the, this time, you were still with him, or yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah. So, at this time, like three or four weeks ago, right? I'm still with him. This is before all the BS came out about what we're gonna get into. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Um, we have a meeting about, hey, we need to do paperwork. We're trying to get this thing going on the road. We already shot two videos together. You know what I'm saying? Um, but let's go ahead and lock it in. Oh, so you didn't have paperwork before he no, went no, no, to... No, no, oh, no, okay. no. I, n- I never had no paperwork with him. Cause okay. was always, Don't you, you think know? that's a problem? Now, I know that's you say you problem. watch my show. That's a big if problem. If you watch my yeah. show, you've heard me address this so with yeah. times. from Carl Crawford to Half Pint to... But, you I've, know, t- I've touched yeah. on this with everybody yeah. that's that came in here that, uh, you know, you got to get the business straight How first. old are you? I'm 30. So you supposed to know better. No, I definitely know better. <laughs> okay. But Measy had already been he only been out a month. Don't month matter. Yeah, so it does not matter. But before he went, y'all were before he went, I mean if I would have signed paperwork with him back then, the contract would have been, been no, over. Yeah, you know? Boy. So Depends when on we, how long for Yeah, <laughs> right? but I, I only do my contract. All the conditions, so, right? Yeah, yeah everything. I, but I only when I, I I I give people an option. I only do my contracts for an option of time. You know what I'm saying? It's not like Five, like 10, ten years, years. yeah. That's I'm a, not that's doing that, you know. Okay. So when he get out of jail, um, we talking about the business, you know. Okay. He's like, "Hey, bro, we need to do the paperwork. This is this, uh, blah blah blah. Let's get it going." I'm like, "All right, cool. I'm gonna have my legal advisor." Um, no, 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 no. I'm going too fast. Um, we talk about percentages, right? And I said, "Hey, bro, I'm sh- I'm investing my money. I'm shooting videos. I'm paying for studio time." I'm engineering. I'm doing a lot for your career. Uh, kind of like I'm the engine of a lot of things that's going on right now. You know what I'm saying? I want 20%. That's standard right. for a manager. That is standard. You know, that's not even... I, I could really get 35%. Because of all the other things you're doing. Because right. all the extra stuff that I'm doing. But I say, you know... But he's like, no. So he he, he, he has Low DZ, uh, um, Yellow Beezy's manager. Right. He's like, oh, well, well, why don't you, you know, why don't you split... 30% with low DZ, blah, blah, blah. I'm cool with that. I, I At first, I disagree, but then I'm I'm like, okay, well, cool. If I if I don't have to invest my money, if I don't have to do no, nothing extra with my finances, I'll take 15%, right? We left it at that, got off the phone. The next day, his wife called me. 
uh, Cornelius, uh, we don't need you as a manager no more. I said, oh, okay. I said, so what this mean? We're not working no more? Uh, what you mean? Uh, so she was like, send me your prices or whatever, whatever. I said, so if it was about, I'm thinking in my head, it's like, if it's about you paying me money, you could have did that in, from the jump. Mm-hmm. Instead of trying to use me, because now I feel like you used me. You know, you could have put, you know, took, took, you could have paid me from the jump when he got out of jail. You know what I'm saying? So that's the situation with that. And then, wow. yeah, so, so after all of the crap, he tried to act like he didn't know what was going on. And um, we started talking, and then they booked a video with Jeff Adair, and then he, he he don't pick up the phone no more. Something like, I'm, I'm like, okay, cool. So you're not picking up the phone. What now? We ain't cool no more? But we, we're still talking in the mix of all of this going on. You know what I'm saying? Um, after the video comes out with him and Jeff Adair, he posts a status on his page and says, uh, look, I'm not affiliated with Cornelius Beast, All-Star Magazine. I have no affiliation. And I called him. I said, bro, what did I miss? I th- First, I I called him. He didn't even pick up the phone. I left a message up under his comments. I said, what happened? What I miss? What's going on? Everybody hit me up. Damn, you don't work with music no more? I'm like, he ain't never well, told his me wife like had already, His right. wife had already, already told you. Already hit you up and said that they don't need your services anymore. Of course. That's, that's totally fine. But... He he posted a video like it was like a diss, which I'm not. I wasn't tripping about the video at all. I was cool with the video, whatever. I feel like that's not even that's not even important for you to go on and say I have no affiliation with Cornelius Beach. Um, you know what I'm saying? It's just like whatever, bro. Just move on. You feel me? So, you know, so it's just like whatever. You know what, what I'm saying? Did you say he called the day before. Yeah, he called me. I had talked to him the day before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah but he, then yeah. his wife told him the next day that they were no. So she running his. He didn't. He he evidently she running things and she called you and told no, you. No, I got it. Yeah. That's fine. But if we're not doing business no more, why are you still calling me saying, bro? You just sent me a a, a text message of you and you and uh, J, uh, J Prince Junior. Hey, J Prince Junior just hit me up, man. I'm like, cool. He's like, bro, we lit. Like, and this was after he put that out there on social media that y'all yes, are done. Yes. This I have the, I can show y'all the text right now. It's no like I'm not capping, you know. So and what was your response? I said that's dope, bro. That's a good look. Okay. You know? So So uh, it was just kind of confusing to you. It was con- it was confusing to me yeah. why you went on social media to do that. I was like, oh, "Okay." Well, let, then, me, uh, well let me let me ask you this. Was this um before O'Shea's uh the the the, the, the letter that to my to a yeah, snitch. Yeah, this was this before, was before that. Yeah. So, so did this, did you think did was he he was out already though, right? O'Shea. Yeah. O'Shea been out for about a year, almost two years. Okay, so yeah. so basically, I mean, just the streets. I'm trying to understand right, how the right. streets rolling. I you got know you. what I mean? I got you. I got and you. where all the timelines and where everything fall into place and stuff like that. Yeah. Correct. Because gotcha. because that was something you know, and, and bringing that up, uh, I guess I will get into it a little bit when when you look at. Uh, the inner city and, mm-hmm. and you see you know this this word uh snitch right a letter to a snitch right. uh, you know when you look at uh say eric holder who who nipsey called a snitch right. outside the store which I, I knew nipsey and i used to be at that store before all that went down mm-hmm. um when you look at uh not only him just any times people start to Say that you you know you working with 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 you know with those people, man. Right, 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 right. It's a it's a thing where it's a, a, man, a can it's I say like something? a scarlet letter. Let me letter. say that right. it's it's like a, it's a let me finish. Letter, yeah, really. so yeah, it's really a, it's a it's a serious situation. Yeah, yeah. You know, so when you have people that and I'll let you talk. Gotcha. Um, you have people that that really don't play when it come down. Uh, Jay Prince just talked about and that's Jay Prince Rack 100, yeah. 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 Rat 100, Rat 100. Mm-hmm. and and said that he you know you know talked about him in a way to where hey man you know you doing these things and you you look like you operating with the law when you see this 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 blood stained banner mm-hmm. go out into the masses like that right. you put yourself in a situation where people are looking at you as a target, pretty right. much, or, or right. they don't trust you for sure. Exactly. Especially where the you know, I, I, exactly. and and when I brought you on, I I said, man, I don't know the guy. Gotcha. I never right. met you before, but I do want to hear what would make people call you this. Mm-hmm. You know, because I never interviewed nobody right. to where it was somebody that they was calling this. You gotcha. know, gotcha. just on a on a on a on it's on the streets. It's a, a whole. A whole song out about it right exactly. now. You exactly. know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it's yeah. buzzing yeah. right now, yeah. and it just blew my mind 
that that this was happening in real time. And then gotcha. I see, you know, I talked to Sco, so but I ain't see your deal on there. My son and more other people, people are talking, okay. man. Right, right, right. And and so I wanted to say, okay, what the heck is going on with this right. guy Cornelius? And my son's like, man, I don't know that. They say he's doing this. I said, really, man. So the streets is talking, man. Right. And and so and I get it, you know. You can't control that. I've had people to yeah. talk about us in the worst way, mm -hmm. and at the end of the day, we, we that don't make us who people say we are. So I, I'm definitely not saying that part, but I am saying it's a very situ serious situation, and you need to really try to make me understand or just the people understand gotcha. why would somebody put that jacket on your back? Got gotcha. you. You gotcha. don't like that gotcha. because that's a hell of a statement. It is, man. You're right, and that's that's a jacket that I don't want on my back because I'm not working with the feds. You feel me? But are we getting into the real the situation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we, can, gotcha. we, can, we can get into okay, it. Okay, so about the whole O'Shea situation, man, it's a situation to where, you know, he got himself caught up, right? Taking y'all back all the way back to 2018, me and O'Shea was working together. I was managing him, um, basically um, spending a lot of money on him, stuff like that, right? Oh, his music career. On his music career. And it says when Gunna Music was in prison. This is why Gunna Mizu was in prison. Okay. So Mizu was in the round during this right. time. Um, I was doing a lot of stuff for O'Shea. You know, he made a song, shouting me out, trying to get my attention, you know. And I, I would never work with him for a long time, right? When I finally started working with O'Shea, he had a really bad financial situation. So I was trying to help him out, right? Long story short, uh, I, int I introduced O'Shea to uh, a mutual friend that I knew, which the guy was... Not 100, basically. He was, you know, getting money. He was hustling, right? And what's the name of this guy? His name is Figs. Okay. Figs. 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 Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I heard him speak about Figs. Right, right. Um, during, the, during the time that I introduced him to this guy, uh, we, all, we all hanging out, you know what I'm saying, doing music, blah, blah, blah. So you blah, thought blah. this guy was 100 at that time? No, I, I've so been... So you already knew that the type of guy I've been this knowing, guy is. I've been knowing what he was into okay. before I even introduced OJ okay. to uh, you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. him. Well, why would you introduce Oche to him if, if you knew, he knew he was that type because of person? Because he was already he was he was around. Like he would come to the studio. He was like he was already around. It was like it, he wasn't no person that was like you know. Okay. It's like okay. Question. So when you introduce him to Oche, did you actually? Because since you're working with Oche or trying to work with him, did you give him a heads up like, hey, I'm going to introduce you to this dude, but he, you know I he's this Oche. X Y yes, Z yes, blah blah blah. This is your choice if you want to go into this thing. Exactly. I get, look. I gave oh, Oche. Yeah, I gave Oche a choice. I said, hey, I I list him up on a dude. When O'Shea agreed to do whatever he did with the dude, that that was his choice. You know what I'm saying? Um, and you didn't have no dealings with these dudes. No, I had dealings with the guy. Like, for that situation where he trying to call me a snitch, I didn't have anything to do with, with what he was trying to call me a snitch for. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I didn't, I wasn't working with the police to help. So you were just no, a middleman that's but, connecting the dots. Right. But right. when you look at it, if you did, if O'Shea did 22 months, mm -hmm. if 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 uh. Figs got 47 months mm -hmm. and then you don't get no time at all. Right. But then there's an interrogation that a right. two hour long interrogation so listen, so listen. that you own that makes it look crazy that so, you're not, you're no, no ways in the situation. So, so, so listen, so long story short, right? So when I'm basically being interrogated in the video, cause he's only showed 11 seconds of the interrogation. But he said he has two hours. We, we hadn't seen it. Nobody released. has seen, nobody has seen the two hours okay. of, of video oh, footage yeah. of me. Yeah. But we have, I do have it, but nobody has seen that, right? O'Shea made a song to say, I snitched on him. I'm the reason why he went to jail. If y'all listen to the song, it says, Roderick Turknet, Cornelius Beach, you have them, you have them people put them folks, you know, put me away. Right. That's not what happened, you know? O'Shea got caught up into something um, dealing with stolen mail. Like, I, I have the paperwork right here if you don't, if, if, I, if, if I can show it to the camera, you know what I'm saying? O'Shea got caught up with something that had nothing to do with me. Nothing at all, whatsoever. The reason why, yeah, he do have a two hour long situation in me, but the reason why I didn't get caught up in his situation is because I didn't know who they was meeting with. I didn't know the mailman that they was meeting with. I had never bought anything with the cards he got caught with in the store. They didn't have me on camera doing nothing, you know? That's just the truth, you know what I'm saying? And also, his contact with them have been broken three months. Yeah, so so like like so like I'm I'm really hold on. I'm really go, I'm really stepping above ahead real quick. Okay. So let's back it up, right? So me me and O'Shea is 
doing music, right? We stop talking because we fall out. We fall out about, I don't even know, I can't even remember what we fell out about. We falls out. I don't talk to O'Shea for like three or four months. He was not able to come to my studio. He wasn't able to come back around me. The guy Figs, uh, the Figs that I introduced him to, I believe they was, you know, doing their thing together. But is this before the interrogation that this you go through? This is before the interrogation. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I, I'm basically cutting them off because I peep they being fake, you know what I'm saying? Teaming up against me, doing all of this type of stuff. Just just kind of like, you know, it's like it's like you playing her against, or I'm playing her against you. It's, they We playing like tit for tat games, you know what I'm saying? And so, you didn't know all the dealings that what was going on between two of those. Exactly. I didn't know the dealings. I didn't know when I got when I got caught up in the situation with them. I didn't know that they was going to go buy stolen mail from somebody. So I didn't know you that. say now you say you got caught up in the situation with them. Right. So how did you get caught up in the situation with them? Because I drove the dude Figaro to the store. I drove him to the gas station to meet the guy that he was going to go meet to buy stolen mail. So you're in the loop with all that's a conspiracy. No, I was not. I was only the driver. I had never met the guy he was going to meet. The guy had never met me. I didn't even know who the fuck he was going to meet, you know, until I didn't understand who he was going to meet until we got in the interrogation room and the people told me that. His impression was that he was driving into the store. Right. My my impression was I'm driving this dude to the store because he begged me. And so in that meeting on this two hour Long uh, right. interrogation, they asking you about this whole situation. No, they're asking me about what do I know about uh, about the situation. I Correct. Couldn't, I couldn't tell them anything because I didn't know anything. Did they put you on a lie detector? No. no. But they just basically was asking you questions for two hours long? Yeah, so like they Let asked. Me, go ahead. And, and you got to answer this for me That's because I, you got to give me an answer to this. Why did you put Rainwater name in it? I didn't put Rainwater name in it, man. Then why does it? This is something I, man, that's, I, you that, guys kept screaming. I just yeah, watched this. Yeah. I why feel is like, Rainwater name coming up I in it? I feel like, I feel, you know, it's just, this whole situation is so long ago. You know, yeah. this happened in 2018. Because he's saying his name is yeah. on the paperwork. You had pretty much right. mentioned his name. Right. Is his name mentioned in that interrogation? I don't even know, bro. <laughs> you got the two hour long yeah, interrogation. So like, you I, know, I, you never what, listened to it? So like, all right, so let, let, me, let me say this. So the guy Figaro, uh, I met Figaro through Rainwater a long time ago. So that's a mutual. Did you tell them that? If I did, then that, that's probably then that's why his name is in what, there. That's yeah. what it is. You so, mentioned so, his name. Right, right. So listen, listen to me. So on some whole, not no street shit, just like I met, I met, I met Figaro through Rainwater. Like I, I believe he was trying to book, I believe he was trying to book, um, I think he paid, um, we all met this guy at the same time, right? So Figs tried to basically pay Rainwater to, uh, no, he didn't try. He paid him for a feature from 03. I, I, I made the beat and stuff like that. That's the only reason why Rainwater name was brought up because they asked me, how do you know this person? I met him through a mutual friend. You know what I'm saying? That's, it was never like bringing Rainwater name into some stuff that's like finna get him sent to jail or nothing like that. He didn't have anything to do with this, if, that's, if that makes sense. You feel me? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Like, like if you ask me, how, how did you meet, you know, Jamaica? Or, if you, oh, I met her through... You know, you get what I'm saying? It was never like a rain finna, uh, yeah, he, rain got something to do with this and da, 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 da. No. But once you bring anybody's name up into it, they're tracing the dots to see if, yes, Figs and O'Shea was doing whatever they did, but they don't know if somebody else was pulling Figs buttons from above. So when you mention somebody nah. else's name, they're now pulling that person into the interrogation. No, no, not really. Because, but also, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, let me say this. Fed. Let me say this. This this wasn't the feds, right? So like this was this was the US postal workers. So what they went to jail for is they got they got caught stealing mail. Like Isn't got, that a federal offense? That's though? a federal offense. Right. But the people that I was talking to in interrogation, they were the mail workers. That wasn't the feds. So when people go say, Are you talking to the feds? That's not really what happened, you know? My thing that I could that I admitted to what I did, I told on myself. You feel me? What so, did you do? I didn't do nothing in that situation. I had did some shit a long time ago that I thought I was getting in trouble for, and I told on myself. Now, when the and when the detectives realized that I didn't have anything to do with it, they're like, okay, well, shit. We already have a federal informant. He's telling on every goddamn body. So you said the detectives, but you said you were talking to the male people. So, like, so when like did you people. start talking to the detectives? I never talked to a detective. I mean, 
You just said you were talking to detectives. What I'm, what I'm saying, like male, like the male people that work for uh, the, the male center. That makes sense. They like have to have some type of. Let, let me just say this: mm -hmm. in order for them to have some, in order for a guy to get 47 months and, right. a, and another guy to get so, 24 months. So can, can we read off the paperwork you, so you, you can understand but what you, I'm saying? You see what yeah. I'm saying? I, if these are not uh, federal workers or some type of work, how do a man end up in the feds? So let's bring because some clarity. yeah, yeah. You yeah, see what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't. You so, can't. You can't you can't end up in the feds by just some mail workers right. at a at a right. at a at a, at a post office. Listen, okay. listen. Go ahead. Let us bring some clarity to it. All right, so so yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna okay. so yeah, right. so maybe maybe I'm explaining. Yeah, because you got yeah. him. You yeah. you you, yeah. you like these dudes. The mail folks just gave somebody so, forty seven months. No, listen, listen, you know what I'm listen. <laughs> no, I want y'all to listen. Hold on, stop. Let me let me. Go ahead. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You all right? You need some yeah, more water? I just, I just, you know. You get I, ramped I up pretty good. Don't do no rant on me. No, 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 no. I just be trying to get the it's a natural trying to reaction. figure it out. Man, it's a natural you know, reaction, right? Yeah. When we're accused of something that we didn't do, it's a natural reaction for us to try to, to for us to try to defend ourselves. So naturally, sorry, hold That's the reaction. So. Bagging up here. I don't know where you guys want to start. Do you want to just hit the paper? No, we want to. We want to understand how these two people that he's saying are not federal uh, 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 employees, empl uh, federal agents, mm -hmm. or federal uh, uh, some type of. They, then he called them a detective. Who are these people that get these guys forty-seven months and twenty-four months, and these guys do time? And he don't do any time after all of them are dealing with the same individual. And in the video, who was it that was um, speaking to him for the two hours long? Who was it? Was it federal or was it just postal so the, so, workers, so as the, he said? So the entire time, these are USPS special agents. Okay, so, so they, they, are, they are special agents. They are a branch of what we would call the uh, FBI. Correct. Okay. okay, but they're not the FBI. They work for the UPS, and their job is to obviously investigate potential crimes that happen with U.S. mail. And so at that time, at that time when, go when ahead. he no, drove, when he drove Figs to the store, let's just start there. He drives Figs to the store, and I remember this night very clearly because when he called me, I'm like, God, I just dreamed that something like this was going to happen. So he drive fix to the store, unknowingly, that this was gonna happen. So then you drive to QT, racetrack, whichever one, and then 15, 20 cops hop out with guns, draw down on you, and you don't know what's going on. Wait a minute, and when they draw down on you, it, you and Figs both get taken to this yeah, place, yeah. and that's when you talk to these people that she's talking about? Yeah, that's that's not. not what, then those are agents. Those are somebody affiliated with a federal uh, a law. There you you, are, you understand what I'm saying? They're, 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 you you can't. The laws don't draw down on you, and then somebody well, take you away, and they're let's, not. Let's let's back up here because you said the laws draw down on you. That's why. Arlington. So what happens is yeah. in situations like this, they don't have jurisdiction, right? They don't have jurisdiction to come to anyone's town our city, state, they don't have jurisdiction to come in your town and arrest anyone. So what they have to do is, is the local law enforcement. get the local law enforcement to come so that they can make the arrest because the police have to arrest you. Right. They don't have the authority to. Exactly. So that's why Arlington Police was there. Arlington Police are the ones who drew down and made the arrest for them, pulled them in for questioning. But it must have been an investigation. It must have been an ongoing investigation, investigation for, them to for that, that to even happen Absolutely. because they had to be watching. Absolutely. But the thing that I can't understand is that, okay, you said that you already knew Figs and you knew exactly how he was, that, you know, he was sort of, you know, but then you were still willing to drive him to the store. Yes, unknowingly, but yet still knowing that it could be anything. Not, 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 not really, because I, I, I drove him to the store thinking that I'm just driving him to the store. I'm not thinking nothing about, oh, he's finna get shut up, you know. So yeah, like because that, you know, because you remember what you said earlier that how his character is and who he is. So like, he's not a bad person. I'm not saying that he's a bad person. I just know the things that he was involved in. 
You know what I'm saying? So like, I'm not and, thinking. And oh. and be clear because yeah, because he, he say you know the things he's involved in, and then you're still three months before that they have been talking, yeah. and part of the reason of that is because he understood the lifestyle. There was no more guessing. You could be a part of something. You might be a part of something. And I remember us talking about this, and he cut the relationship off because of those character flaws. So then he, he picks him up, and then this happens. Yeah, yeah. so you cut him off, but then you're giving him a ride. No, but no. You, it's just like you give people an opportunity. You know, if... Let, let, me, let, me, let me say this. If, so yeah, I, 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 cut, I, cut, I cut him off because I didn't want to be involved with what they had going on. Right. right. Because obviously you keep doing something enough times you're gonna get caught right? exactly so dude did music i had a recording studio you know what i'm saying he would call me and beg me to come to my recording studio you know what i'm saying call me call me call me call me call me so like i finally pick up the phone because i did like i said I, they was being fake i distanced myself from them for three or four months and i wasn't talking to them at right. all you feel me and this so, happened after you cut yourself off from them this happened after this happened after i cut myself right. off from them right so he called me one day, hey, Corn, you um do this for me? He paid me for like some some video stuff to do for him. We weren't doing no business like that. He paid me to do some video work for him. I did a couple of videos for him, and then I took some of the money, and I paid my other guy to finish the work for him, right? So during that time, this happens. He come to the studio. I take him to the store, and bam, there it go. What That's are what you happened. gonna do if they drop this two hour long video with you and everything that you were saying? How do you how comfortable do you feel? I don't what, care because I, know what I, said. You, you know what I'm saying? I can tell you I can tell you what I said. But I'm just saying they're gonna drop this video. If you telling me that there did you cooperate with those people to a fault to where you put other people's lives in no, harm? No. Boy, you see no. what I'm saying? I did that could be called you, I, but you understand where I'm I coming from. I get what from. you're saying. It wasn't there a part in the in in that um, video that said um, showed you saying something like, um, "I will cooperate with you, like whatever you want me to do." No, no. So I said, "If I cooperate with you, what are you going to do for right, me?" Right. That's what I mean. If y'all heard this, the second, I mean the this, uh, the whole clip of when the detective started calling or whatever you want to call him, he said, "You keep telling us the same thing." And that's when I came back and said, "If I tell you what I know, what you gonna do for me?" But, wow. in, so, but in that, but in that same, because that sounds like a deal, like you trying to strike a deal. But, but like, I understand okay. but that's a hell of a statement. Yeah, yeah but that's that statement. Miss, that's, no, listen, that's listen, crazy. Listen to me, though. Listen to me, and you gotta know the context of the case before you start assuming mm -hmm. that I told. If you don't know the context of the case, you're gonna say, "Oh, he's a snitch. He's just he's a rat," which I didn't rat on nobody. I admitted to what I did. Right. You know. And they had already been investigating this dude months prior, and I didn't even know. Right. I didn't even know what the, what the hell was going on no, with I the get situation. It. I get it if, you, it, if you didn't know. Say so this. this is, I cannot sit here no more and not exactly say what I want to say. I think, this is my opinion, only my opinion. Right. But I think it is utterly disgusting how our culture treats snitching. Nobody cares if you're called broke. Nobody cares if you're deadbeat father, deadbeat parent. No one cares if your credit is bad, you don't own a home, your priorities out of order. They don't care. You can be called all of that. But the very moment that someone is called a snitch, it is the worst title in the world. When we are law-abiding citizens, we're not committing crimes. We're not doing anything wrong. What makes anyone think that we would want to sit in jail for their crime? Mm -hmm. There's absolutely no way that our culture, it's our people, black and brown people, can say, I want my community be, to be good. I want my children to go to good schools. I want us to live in a good community, for us to have grocery stores. We want to be like the North. But we absolutely cannot have it with the mentality that our people have. Now, in, in, offense for the, in defense of the people who want to live like that, if you want to commit crimes, if you want to live your life in that way, God, so be it. Be that way. But do not project what you want to do on someone else. We're law-abiding citizens. There's absolutely no way that our community can change with this mentality. 
everything going on. I agree in the with world. you too. I agree with you, but I also know that being young, when you see association brings about assimilation. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And if you associating yourself with these type of individuals, absolutely. My son, he, uh, yeah, I got to bring him into it. He was still in that Walmart. He's older now, but his grandmother would call younger. me and she would say, uh. They called him stealing at Walmart, but Trey was uh Trey wasn't it wasn't Trey with the other boys, but they got Trey with him. Right. But he was hanging with and them. I say he well, and, 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 let me exactly. finish. Let me finish. And I say if Trey was with him, then Trey was stealing too. Yeah. I, but I don't I don't think he she spoiled him to death. I said, well, I don't care what you say. If he was with him. He's just as guilty as they was. That's the way I was saying. Now, this is smaller. This is not dealing with the federal. Uh, uh, I agree. The, but, but still, for you to be in the midst of them. But the scenario still. And y'all still, same. three months before you say you stopped messing Stop. with them or two, three months, y'all still was running. So you know how the feds work. You know how this mailing system works. If there was some things going on. Um, and you were with them at any point in time. So I was. Then you were just as guilty as no. anybody else. But if you wasn't, I wasn't. Then that's something else. I wasn't. I'm just, I'm yeah. just saying that. So, I gotta so say that. Let me get clear that Fix yeah. came for business. Yeah. So that day he was a paying business, yeah, customer. Yeah. So like, th- this is a situation, right? And a lot of people, and I, and when I, when I do interviews, and even the last interview, everybody is so focused on calling me a rat or yeah. a snitch and it's like nobody really cares about the context that was on what i'm finna show y'all here nobody cares about the actual facts of the case right. it's just oh you a rat or you like if this even if this interview is finna be about just a find that i'm a snitch i don't want to do the interview right. yeah because no, it's, it's not it's not it's not because that's that's one-sided you know what i'm yeah. saying mm-hmm. exactly if i had anything to do with his situation i would have took my time as a man i i caught a case after this i took my time as a man, you did some time. I took I I took my rap for me. I, I didn't I didn't go snitch on nobody. I didn't go do nothing. I I paid my attorney. We we got the shit situated. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everything, but I'm not going to jail for something that I did not do. They accused them of stealing three hundred and seventy four thousand dollars worth of uh like like credit cards. I didn't go buy stolen mail from nobody. I didn't go spend none of that three hundred and seventy four thousand dollars. None of that money touched my account. I didn't do any of that. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and I'm saying this is because you, you finna clearly understand who told on them. Right. And, and it was not me. You but if, me? if you with me and, yeah, Figs, he... So listen, I'm going to tell you why no, I was That's the thing I always wondered about, because paperwork, anytime people always say that somebody ratted or whatever, it's usually some paperwork that shows oh, that, shit. okay, no, this listen, person listen. is the person that said X, Y, Z. Can I say this? Y'all seen the O'Shea video, right? I seen Y'all, the video, but seen, I, I'm asking you: Do you think that he's promoting his album? That's exactly you, what he's doing. He's trying to promote. Man, look, you're saying that he the, took all this and put you yes, in an incriminated yes. state just the to guy, promote listen, his album. The guy before I met the guy, listen. Before I met the guy, go look up his song. I want to know. He put my song. Somebody hit up Courtney's and tell him what I got to do to get on All Star Magazine. Wearing a dress. He keep put yeah. He put a dress on in the in the fucking video. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So you telling me that this guy to promote five eight eight six six dash one seven seven that album, which is pretty much showing that he came home from prison. And he said that you were a guy that was a snitch around and surrounding this whole situation. I have a question. Is to promote an album. That's- hold on. Hold on. Did O'Shea show you any paperwork? No. Exactly. I didn't even talk to him. So. But, I'm, but I'm, have y'all seen any paperwork with my name and O'Shea name to say I, I told on him? No, I, hadn't, I didn't exactly. see that in the video. Exactly. No, the only I thing just, he showed you're in the that, video. Is that video. No, that's me. I'm that. not denying that I was interrogated. Right. I'm not denying none of that. That's me in the video. But I didn't, if you watch the interview, he clearly said, Corn didn't say my name. Didn't I didn't snitch on him. So, so this, you say you have paperwork saying who is the person who said exactly right pertaining to O'Shea's case specifically uh, and again and we don't have to read Cornelius, the whole paper we just I, no, need no, to get to I the made, meat of I it. made some highlights yeah. I'm not gonna go through this is 23 pages yeah that's a lot of and paperwork this, yeah, yeah, this particular document along with other documents that I've collected this is a transcript from court okay, okay? this is what people under oath this is what they said okay, okay. all right you won't find his name here anyway. You don't find him on the stand testifying, 
period. There's no sealed documents anywhere. Okay, so I want to get I want to I want to just get to the point because it took us a little time because in Figaro's case, it prefers to the person who told as the informant. Okay, so they right? didn't really say the right. the no. name of who told. They no, called him the they, informant. No they, no, they did. The Brandon Moore guy. Oh, or well, Dan no, I'm Moore. not speaking yeah. about in here. I'm okay, saying in you. in Fix paper, it mm -hmm. per, it, re, it refers to the person as the okay, informant. So let's, let's, okay, let's so um, I highlighted. There's a few things I highlighted, but I'm gonna go. I'll start at 12. So I've, I've um, highlighted 12. It says a mail carrier route is important to this investigation because the carrier who serves that route, Mr. Dion Moore, was facilitating a theft of gift card uh, addressed to his route, right? So it begins to talk about the carrier. I'll let you read the rest of it if, if you want to. It lets you know that they started investigating in January. You can take a look at that and then I'm going to flip it back over. I'll get into something else. Um, Mr. Moore, Dion Moore, who's the mayor carrier, mm -hmm. is a cooperating witness. Okay. Okay. Um, it says he was indicted in the case, but he is cooperating. He has actually helped us facilitate an operation where he did a control buy with Figaro. Did you? Now, this is the night... That Th this ain't nobody. You don't know Mr. Moore. You don't no, know. Never met him. You only and this know. This is the mail carrier. Yeah, the, Mr. Moore is the mail carrier. I never met him. Uh, Figaro was arrested, uh, as well as Turk Knight, which is this is the night that he drove him to the store, right. and all of this happened. Okay, and so then it goes on to say, tells you about exactly about uh, the gift cards and blah 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 blah. Um, then it goes on to say. Um, Mr. Moore, blah, 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 yes, sir. Uh, it goes on to saying, I don't want to read all of this. No, you don't have um, to. Uh, uh, but let Mr. me ask Moore, you, is any of this pertaining to you? No. No, bro. So then, it, I mean, I get what you're no. saying, that the paperwork directly de de dealing with the case does not pertain it to you. It does not pertain to me. The, the none only, of, the, none but of the case. only thing that they're saying is that day in that interrogation room, when you in, were interrogated with figs, right. you were snitching on somebody. No. No, I'm they, just telling you what that, 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 that's, that's, what, that's what it would be so, and, on, and, and, on a letter to exactly, a snitch. Exactly. So and am I right? Only, that's, you're, that's you're right. The whole, and you're I right think, what you're and saying. And I think it's only because of that one statement that you made, right. where it says, "Can, I can you repeat can that I, statement I, again?" That, when I when I, I said wanna, when you said um, you said it a while ago. I said uh, um, if I if I. I work say. with you or no if I if I if I tell you what you want to know what you gonna do for me exactly just that one statement but alone the, but, but but listen but you could see how that would be put yourself in, understand right, put yourself you in. do you regret, right. do you regret, do you regret saying about, that now Man, let's I, be real I, I regret even meeting all of them yeah you know but what you saying? see what because I'm saying you not would have to have a regret to doing that now now that this is out because you know T.I. he did the after he got busted he did the crime stoppers and and that'd be a question I would ask him if I ever talked to him like do you regret doing that now you know because hindsight right it's like, damn, I should not even say nothing. I got to say this, man. The only reason why I said anything to even agree to do the interrogation with them is because I thought it was something that I got caught up for. I didn't get caught up for nothing. You feel me? Wait a minute, wait a minute. How would you think of something? Oh, you talking? About you was into stuff that you yes, thought they had something else. Yes. 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 Exactly. In the past. No, no, no. I'm saying during that time, we got to stop playing, man. If I've been in the streets, bro. Right, right, right. If I, I'm not no saint. Right. If I'm riding with figs, I know right. what figs about. I got niggas that I used to ride with that yeah. we doing stuff, whatever. Yeah. If something would have happened, I know that nigga do this, I do this. I might not be getting caught. Listen, I might not getting caught. I might not be getting caught for that this day. No, no, but no. I understand where you saying. Yeah. Hell, I thought I might have been. It might have been something I had done done too. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because you said exactly. three months prior to that, you, you was all up in the midst of. Yeah, and he stopped. Y'all see this? These are the documents, right? This is the uh, this is uh, United States versus uh, Ose Jerome. They Ose. were they were surveillance yeah. in these guys. All of this, it's all it's, it's, yeah. They was nothing. Let me, let me, I'm please sorry. let me talk. I'm sorry. All right, so right. they they had these dudes on camera. You feel me? On camera, they was already investigating them. When they when when they interrogated me, they knew I didn't have anything to do with the case because they had already investigated them. They had wiretaps. They had surveillance. They had everything on them. So when I did the the the, the so the why even investigate you then? 
Because I, I never met the male dude. Remember they have an informant that's telling them everything that's going on. He never met me. You know? So later later on during the case when 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 she read the transcript, it says Turknet had pending uh the the, the uh, detective that did the case, he said, I think Turknet has a, a pending indictment. But due to the fact that they couldn't find any evidence on me, they couldn't charge me with anything. Because that's that, that's 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 basically like it's not oh because he snitched or he got some some stuff out the way. No, they was trying to get everybody. I changed my phone number. They wanted me to actually snitch on them and write an affidavit and come testify. I changed my phone number. These people called me oh. to try to get me to snitch on them. On I didn't. The new number. Yeah, on my on my new number. You know what I'm saying? Like if yeah, I yeah, because changing your number from the feds. <laughs> it's like I, I never I never been in this situation though. So like you just trying to do whatever to try to get away from it. What, what you mean? When 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 you say you change your number. Yeah, I changed my number. I'm just like, damn, I, I ain't got nothing But in life, yeah. um, one thing I'm going to say, God put us through everything for a reason. For a reason, yeah. For us to learn from it. So in your case right now, and I know you're still going through the situation and you might not realize everything that you need to learn from this. I learned a lot. But yeah. as of this moment right now, what it is? what is it that you think that God was trying to tell you that you need to learn? Yeah. God was trying to tell me to listen more to myself. You know, because every time I've ever been through a situation, I've always said, bro, don't do that. You know, don't don't like I never I like I learned this during this situation. Watch out for who you hang with. Watch out who you let around you. Watch out for the stuff that you involve yourself with everything. You know, I, I like I'm not a troublemaker. I never been in trouble. You know, what I'm saying other than to where I got myself in trouble. You know what I'm saying? I, I never been that type of dude. I've always been a, a, a hard working guy doing business. I got a business with business credit. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 I have good things going for myself. And when I surround myself around people that was trying to be manipulative or use me, it put me in a situation with this right here. You know what I'm saying? So I was never, I was never, you know, I, like I'm a grown man. I know better. But then we all go through situations like, damn, I need some money too. You know what I'm saying? So it's like that. The only reason why I even fool with them is like, man, ain't no, ain't, ain't nothing gonna happen with getting a little extra money. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, <laughs> I learned my lesson. I learned my lesson. I would never hang with nobody ever that's doing anything illegal again. Never. I just say, man, you know, it's it's just tough, man, because of the way that people are depicting you in the city right now. Yeah, bro. It's it's like and you so, you know you gotta understand people are people are watching, bro, and and. That that's one of the things you you know you you gotta be careful because right. at the end of the day if people are saying these things and that narrative is being painted out there and you on a video it's hard to beat that camera. I'm not. It's hard to beat that that that, that statement. You know what I'm saying? And that's because they don't understand. <laughs> but you understand? What I'm it's hard to beat people, it, bro. Our people, our people, my God, our people, our. But that's not going to change they, the fact of your no, scenario. No, so my, my they scenario. don't understand. But you understand what I'm saying? I get what you're saying. What, what, you need to be careful if that's no. what people are looking at you as I know, being, man. I know, but listen, I'm not a snitch. I did not tell on nobody. I told on myself. You feel me? These people had everything that they, they had these dudes every which way till Sunday, bro. You know what I'm saying? I did not help these people put these dudes away. I, I'm That is not my character. You feel me? On my dead mama, I swear to God, I did not help these people put these people in jail the guy that helped the feds or whoever you want to call them put them in jail is the mail carrier he cooperated he was the federal informant they had everything under surveillance i didn't help these dudes you know what i'm saying if you if you look up the context of the case they all was telling on each other O'Shea. you feel me i never told on o'shea i so never you mentioned saying o'Shea, O'Shea was telling on uh, on the paperwork everybody was cooperating with yes. them to try yes. to get less time. I never told so them. So you see stuff what? on there where O'Shea Bruh. was cooperating. Was cooperating. What our people need to do, if they're that invested into to this to this matter, is to go and pull the case. Now they may not be know how to research it to get everything, but do your best. Yeah. If you believe that that's what's happening, go pull it. Go read the case and understand it. But you I, know I the truth is is you you could very well be telling the truth, but a lie is more entertaining. More, I said that. You, like, you know what I'm saying? It's more it's more entertaining to say, "Oh, he a rat, he a snitch." Oh, that's All Star Magazine because I have built my brand so big to where people. This is a reason for people to point the finger at me. 
You know, mm-hmm. it, people that don't like him for years. Exactly, people. No, 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 no. I'm talking about people that's just pretty much on the internet. I'm telling you, they know. Gonna, uh, a lie is more entertaining. Everybody knows this, exactly. so you have to try to figure out a way to uh, uh, try to change the narrative. I you mean, know what I, I mean? I, that's why I brought the paperwork. You know to what I mean? It's just because you know? it's, it's a lot of people. Yeah. A video when you make a, a, a letter to a snitch, uh, a song like that. So let me ask you, let me ask you. That's, cr- that's, you know O'Shea, what I'm saying? O'Shea, we're gonna, we're gonna sue him. We're gonna sue him until, and I hate to bring lawsuits against my own people, but our only action at this point is to sue him for defamation of character. And anyone else that crosses that line, that defames his character, that they will be sued. I will not hesitate. Nobody that I'm connected to will hesitate. We will sue. We're already in the process of suing O'Shea, and he will have to pay. And if he doesn't pay it, he'll have that lawsuit over his head until the day he die. You I know, mean, those cases take forever. It doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter. It's setting boundaries, and it's sending a message. We learned a lesson here with Tasha K and Cardi B. Mm-hmm. We learned that bloggers cannot just say things that are not true mm-hmm. and it's okay for freedom of speech. It's not okay because you're slandering, slandering and defaming one's character. And he has worked so hard from the time he was 13 up until now. I have seen him work hard, be a good father, be a hand in the community, not get in any trouble serve the people as God has called him to do. Of course, people are going to ridicule you, but something to this magnitude destroys. It destroys character how do you, and destroys business. So we're not standing for it. How, how is it for we're you not standing when for you're it. like, you're watching your back more when you go places because you, you, you know Man, that you this know, narrative is being painted about you. know, you. I, I, I'm just saying, uh, you know. I I'm, feel like I feel like this. Like, deep down, I know I ain't do nothing wrong, you know? No, but I'm just asking you how you feel like when you're going around, whether it be to a club, to a store, to a night, to a, to I feel, a restaurant. I feel like, I you know feel like I mean? I'm going to have to wash my back because it's but, like people. But you see what I'm yeah, saying? I because cause that's, yeah. that's a serious statement, yeah. man, to be called a snitch or right. somebody who who people feel like, you know, looking at that video, the same way she's, my wife is saying, people are going to look at that and they're going to take from that. And, and it's hard to beat that. In a courtroom, you might beat it, but your character will still be looked at in that's a certain a, of way. Of course. And that's, that's, a, that's, a bad, that's a bad way to look at it. You know what I'm but saying? But I'm just telling but you that's reality. Why I said, that's why I said I didn't want to do any interviews to try to justify that, oh, he's this way. Because that's not me. I yeah. did not, I know... It says it in the documentation. I ain't telling nobody. And how can you say I snitched on you if you can't provide no documentation? I don't give a fuck about a, a, a two-hour interrogation video. You, O'Shea said it himself. Cornelius was solid in that t- interrogation room. He just basically admitted to what I did to something that I didn't have nothing he to said, do with nothing. Yeah, but he also he, but said, he said last night on that go that you don't want him to drop that whole two-hour. No, I don't. And when he said that, I told him. Because we have it too. Yeah, like I, but I don't, you understand what I'm, that's what he that. said. I'm not afraid of nothing, man. You feel me? Oh shit! If you if you heard the interview, he also said, "Oh, Cornelius didn't snitch on me." You feel me? I heard him say so, that it so wasn't if, your, your name wasn't on his paperwork. But you made a song that said I snitched on you. And O'Shea is the most disloyal, ungrateful individual. Why could you say that when they fell out already? All I'm saying is... You know what I'm saying? Y'all weren't even friends. This is how I feel. And this is what's wrong with our community. These things go back to us as a community and how we operate. It is sad and it is sick. When, uh, when Cornelius met O'Shea, O'Shea was in a bad position. He did so much for this dude. So much for this dude that it was causing issues in his own home because his girlfriend at the time was saying, you don't need to invest that much into that guy. So, okay, fine, they fell out. But he showed you for however many years, months, whatever, that he was a loyal, honest, genuine, sincere person 
that means you no harm. You know the truth because this boy cannot, first off, he cannot sit and tell me that he believes what he's saying. He knows what he's saying is not true. Mm-hmm. He knows. And the old saying, it has nothing with me doing being working in the legal field. It has everything to do with real, recognize real, the old saying. The guy is disgenuine and, and, and disloyal. And, I, and it's, well, and, I, I get it. I, I just hate cool. to hear y'all. I hate to I, I hate to see the going back and forth. And it, but it's yeah, going to so have to happen because it's already started. Yeah, I, I wasn't I wasn't going to even talk about the situation because it's like. But it's going to be talked so many about. People, but yeah, but it's so many people that is motivated to not believe, believe in the my truth. the truth of the story, you know. And, and I'm going to tell you all this, right? The reason why I was not charged is because, and I'm going to continue to keep saying it, they knew that I did not have anything to do with the case. They knew that they didn't find me going into no stores, buying no stolen mail. They, they, they didn't hear me on no phone conversations. Their informant didn't know who I was. That's why I wasn't charged. You, so uh, it's only in, it's only because I watch a lot of, hold on. I watch a lot of movies and maybe it's okay. only in the movies. Right. But you know how the getaway driver always get charged or always, if they're caught, <laughs> they always, you know, go to jail or something like that. So is that only in the movies? Because as much no. as you didn't know anything, you were still like the getaway driver. I wasn't the, the getaway, wasn't getaway driver. It was, a, it, it was the yeah. act of crime wasn't going no. on at the time. It wasn't an act, yeah. yeah. Like, okay. We don't want to paint these narratives yes, as yes. if. I was just wondering, because <laughs> that's the one thing I see whenever uh, I, I see I, I well, get what you're saying. You well, wasn't acting on, on a crime yeah, at I, the time. Let me say. Okay, Go is ahead. it okay? Go I ahead. don't want to interrupt you because I've been doing it. No, the whole I just time. I just want to let it be. No, you can tell your I passions are. Yeah, okay. no, 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 I'm so sorry. This is what I'm saying. If I was in on what they was doing, I would have got charged. Absolutely, I got that's you. just that's this. I mean, you say you from the street, you know, but you know how I don't know if you know how to, the the feds play. You feel me? When they investigate, they're not just coming to you. They also, already know what they, they get. already know what they got. So if me telling, like, come on, bro, like you already know. I, sh- I just showed y'all video. I mean, it's, it's black and white, but I showed y'all video and everything. This is a facts of the case. These people had them every which way till Sunday. It was nothing that nobody could have said the, except for the mail carrier that actually dealt with them that was going to get them out of the hot water. Is there, like, is there anything, and, and we ain't going to stay here forever because we, we're going back and forth over right, the same right, thing right, over and right, over again. Right. But I just want to say, is there anything... You, man, because I, I, I believe in God. I believe in the higher right, power, right, man. Right. Is there anything that, for the people who who see in this, this video, would is there anything you would say to the people? Man, I, I, I want to say this to everybody in Dallas, right? For everybody that is, is, is talking about, I'm a rat, I'm a snitch. Please, please look at the facts of the case. I did not snitch on nobody. You feel me? I did not tell on nobody. I admitted to what I did. If me admitting to what I did to something that didn't have nothing to do with what they was investigating with, is, is that snitching? Because they say, oh, they got me on camera doing this. Oh, I, you can't deny camera footage. You feel me? So I'm just saying, look at the facts of the case and don't go off of what somebody said when they haven't showed you the facts, all the facts to the case. They just showed an 11, 11 second clip of the video and made it seem like I snitched on them. That's not what happened. And, and, and I'm sticking to that. To the day I die, because you, that's the truth. And I'll, I'll say this: Do you think if you was just not even responded with the with the rants and the Mister Potato Heads and all that stuff, do you think it would have been better? No. Why? Why? Because it's like I got everybody. I seen this. This whole situation has helped me to understand who's for me and who's not. You know, and even people that don't even know what's going on, when they hear the word snitch, it's like uh, f corn, f corn. Fuck corn. You know what I'm saying? They, oh, you seen this? Like, they don't even know. So, like, I, f- I feel like if I wouldn't have responded, it would have made me look guilty. Like, like, bro, you you did this. So, I feel like if I ain't did nothing wrong, let me respond. You feel me? I ain't, I'm not hiding anything. I was never hiding from this whole situation. This whole situation has came about because dude trying to market his CD. You know what I'm saying? Well, like, let me ask you this. Morning, you know, let me, let me say this, though. <laughs> Uh, one of my old preacher partners told me, "You, if you don't throw gas on a fire, it'll soon burn out." I was never gonna talk about this situation ever again. Yeah, but you called me today. Yeah, I did. I called you because you know, I wanted to understand and, and, what you know, because right. I know what's about to happen. I right. know that people are gonna be talking about this. 
that album is not going to stop being promoted. Of course. That song is not a bad exactly. song. I'm exactly. being exactly. real with right, you. Right, the right, beat, right. the production. I, I hear the song. Right, right. And it's going everywhere in everybody's phones. It's circling. She's seen it. He's seen it. Pete, you don't even listen to rap. You know what I'm saying? But it's it's circulating like that. And you're in the city. And so I started thinking about safety and parameters yeah, and what can yeah, you do yeah, to make yeah. things better, you right, know? Right, right, right. And I, I like I said, I, I hope and pray. Man, put God first. That's well, all I, I can God say. put God first in everything. Always do, stay man. on your knees, man, yeah. and talk about people on your knees more than just, you know, anything yeah, else. Yeah. And pray for the people that, you know, have done you wrong. Don't just... I'm not, you know, yeah. no, we don't wish no harm on, and I, and I can speak for him because I'm also his aunt, and a lot of people don't know that, and I'm very passionate about it because I, when, I know when it. my sister, I like it, when my sister um, was murdered, I felt I had a duty to love them even more. Oh, his mother, your mother yes. was murdered. Yeah. So, I didn't know that. You didn't get to talk about yeah, that. We, we, yeah, because I heard when he well, said that, that's another. I want to talk about yeah. that a little bit before you get off this show, because yeah. this is the show that, that basically, is pay, you know, we want to know you, and right. that's the whole game. So this your sister. How was she Your murdered? mother's sister. I, I, if he wants to speak, tell the story. You want me to tell the story? You want to tell the story? I mean, yeah, it don't matter. It, you tell the story. Yeah, so like, um, yeah. so like my mom was dating a guy that was on drugs. You feel me? Was okay. that the one that was raising? No, this, 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 this is, is a different This one. is a boyfriend. How you know? old were you at the time when? I was like 16, 17. Okay. Yeah. So like I lost my mom when I was 17. But she was dating a guy that was doing crack cocaine. Um, and he was like a drunk. He was like a couldn't get his stuff together. You, you know what I'm saying? They was always arguing. She tried to help him, you know, try to love him and stuff like that. Was Show she on crack? Way. No. Okay. No. Never, never did never, drugs. Never did yeah, she just had. She was. Just, she was just a, a, a person that had a kind heart. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, um, long story short, is basically they got into an argument one day, and um, from what he told me, right, because he called me, and when everything happened, he t he told me that uh, they got into a car accident. But the detective told me when when they called me to to say come to the hospital. That he told me that he wrecked on my mom's side, so like he's driving the car and they're they're arguing in the car and he wrecks wrecks like jerks the mm -hmm. car into the median, you know, and on on thirty five. So yeah. It's on the news. yeah, it was on the news. Yeah, That's so, I'll go a little bit. I'll go a little bit deeper because but she didn't pass wow. on spot people, right. She w went no, to the she, hospital. She lived. She lived. She lived uh, seven days. Yeah, seven days. So you One were able to Wednesday. speak to her. Was she unconscious no. or? No, she she wasn't able to talk. She like her neck was dislocated from her spine, so she was paralyzed. Uh, and then they had a they had a tube in her, so she couldn't talk. But, yeah. Man, I'm sorry about but, that, bro. But, I, I lost my that. mom too. But, see, but, so but God it, is good. A, God is still good. God still, is good. I, I was 23 though. Mm. Jesus. But, but at the end of the day, um, I'm 50 and 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 I've I've learned to abound in a base, man. Right, right. You know, I've learned to deal with it. You know. Yeah. Um, and it's been different stories on here. Even when you look at your story, uh, we had another guy on here uh, lost his mom and his dad when he was a baby. Right. He had a twin brother. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying, friend of mine. I'm just telling you how how hard it goes. Right, 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 There's right. so many different cases. Y'all would be right. amazed at the people that we've had on here that have lost or have. Uh, we had a guy on here that got killed by a guy like y'all on here together too. Got killed by the, the guy that was here standing behind friend. him. His friend killed him after yeah. they left. Wow. So I'm just telling you, these things are happening in real time. You just have to and love guy, why you have people here. Just love. This guy here. Um, Did you know the that guy? That murdered my yeah. sister. Actually, it's cra it's a crazy story because she had just got out of, her, out of this abusive relationship. She didn't intend on going back. Into to another. Any, right. Mm -hmm. And so he wooed her, wooed her, wooed her. But even before then. In our old neighborhood, he she thought that he was another guy that she had a crush on when she was younger. And he approached her as if he was that guy. And she believed that it was him. And then I think it was a year or so after she said, wait a minute. She, I think she ran into the guy. Something happened and she remembered that he wasn't the actual guy, but she was already involved with him. It was, but the was sickening he convicted? Part, yeah, that's what I, I was wondering. Sure but they only got him. How from, many years? They gave him. He only got five years, and they got him for manslaughter. And and it was because key evidence was missing. But the thing about it is, the very sickening part about this is, um, 
not even, I think it was two days, my sister in the hospital, his brother called me to say that my sister, my sister, had told him to get an insurance policy on her. His brother had an insurance um, agency. Who's brother? The guy that murdered my sister. Really? Yeah. His brother had an insurance company. So he called, I said, now this doesn't make any sense. Why would my sister tell you, I was there with her two weeks ago, she said she didn't want a policy. She already had insurance. So why would she tell you and not to be her beneficiary and not her three children? It doesn't make sense. Right. He's like, well, I just wanted you to know. And Are you serious? So they pulled out an insurance policy on her. Yeah. Were they able to get that money? I don't know because I um, what I did is I found out that he had d done this once to one other girl before, and I reported it. So I did notice, because it was so stressful at that time, I did do all the things I was supposed to do mm -hmm. to try to make something happen. I did learn that the company closed down. I'm not for sure if it was because of that, Case. because we just had a handful of things and you have to decide, pick your fight. So, yeah. Man, you guys have been through a lot, bro. I, I, I never, and like I said, I never know which way these shows are gonna go when we do them. I just know that I feel in my heart we pray and we do, right? If y'all call me or we talk, it's like, man, let's do this and we do it, man. I, I hate you going through all of this, brother. Yeah, I gotta say that, man. No, it's, it's, no. it's gotta be tough, bro. Yeah, you know, you, no. how's, your, how's your sister and brothers? They, they, they good. They, they good. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do they feel about this? Seeing you go through this. Mm, I mean, everybody just like they know my character. They know me, and I know who I am. You know, um, I know I ain't no snitch. You know what I'm saying? I know I ain't no rat. You know what I'm saying? I know I didn't rat on nobody. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I it's a situation to where this is this is humiliation oh, at definitely. its finest. You oh, know, yeah. and you know, I'm being humiliated by uneducated people. You know what I'm saying? So, any educated person that knows paperwork and that knows how things go, they're gonna be like, oh, okay, well. These dudes has been investigated. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it's a situation. I don't, I don't know. You, you're not just talking about that, but you know, it, it's a situation, man. So I'm just like that's, that's worrying me, and I know yeah, what it is. It's definitely worrying me yeah. because it's like, man, I I work so hard to build my my brand, man, and it's like everybody's just coming down on me. Everything coming down on me. You know. And, and that was this guy's intention. Yeah, it, that, that was his intentions, man. You but know. But what he doesn't uh, understand. This is what I I, I believe. This that I told Cornelius the other day. I said. Christ was crucified. I said, so welcome to the cross. Yeah. But after you leave from this, you will win. Because God's word is the last word. And it's already written. It doesn't matter what anybody say. Mm -hmm. If you stand on that. And I know that it's, it's been a thing where he's not worried about what people are saying. But the fact that it affects his business yeah. and what he loves is a problem. Wow. But the main but the main thing is all of this is materialistic stuff. Absolutely. Right, right. You need to really just nurture your spirituality. Yeah, yeah. Because that's, 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 that's really right what yeah. makes yeah. that's really the, the end goal for everybody. Because right. at the end of the day, God come all of this worldly stuff means nothing. Yes. You know what I right, mean? Right, right, 100%. Right, right. Well, so. hey, man, I hope we did you justice. I really do. Um, we love you. We love you. You know, Erica? Yeah. Man, I mean, Cornelius, man, y'all keep fighting. Um, keep putting God first. That's more important than, I like she said, the, right. the the physical thing and all this is sometimes outweighs in your natural eye what's going on in natural. But in the spiritual realm, there's a whole nother battle going on. It is. Right. So right. you just gotta be you gotta be you gotta be strong in the Lord yeah. and the power of his might. You know what I'm saying? Thank you so much for coming on Boss Talk One oh one. Okay, you wanna what do you wanna to say? I wanna say something to our people. <laughs> Go ahead. I just wanna say you something. You done said to enough people. to our people, Eric. <laughs> I, I know, but I, I I'm so passionate she about She keep this. trying to get up. I'm gonna tell you something I when we get off these mics. People go and go through what they have to they go through. They're not gonna change how you you I see where you get but, your rent from. But words yeah. are spirit. Words are spirit. Yeah. Right? And so I'm very passionate about my people. I love my people. But I want us to make some serious changes. And the only way we're going to be able to do that is if we begin to nurture our spirituality, like she just said, so that we can change our mentality. This is an issue of how we think. But in life, the only, way, the only way that's going to happen is... And this is human nature. Is God had to put us through detrimental things for us to really, just like the things that you're going through. It's 
to pull you closer to God because a lot of times when we go through things, when you lose your mother, you lose this, we always tend to pull closer to Christ. And then you get over that and then we stray again and then we come back, something has to happen again and we come right back again. That's human nature. That's that's people, period. Right. And we come from a ministry family. God bless you. Yeah. Hey, man, thank you guys for coming on the show, man. Uh, hey, man, this has been another great segment of Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. And we have.